Hey, you orange one here. So I want to show you a little bit about tinkering because it is an essential part in my mind of Caves of Cud, and it's kind of it's kind of unclear as to how to do it. So first of all, how you tinker is you need to um, go to your tinkering menu, which I believe how I do it is I usually go to my inventory with I, and then I go over using either seven or nine. And there is probably a button that goes straight to it, but it's a uh, it's the tinkering tab and so you you can have all these things that you can tinker all these things I've gotten through either um, getting recipes from a merchant or by disassembling an item a lot of these I've gone from disassembling items but I can as you can see this is a late game character I can make all kinds of grenades I can make guns I can make uh, energy cells it's really really nice but you need to go to this menu and if you want to make something you will see the item and the scrap and the scraps color coded over here so if i make one acid grenade it's going um oh, actually hold on give me a second so yeah if i click on that and i press space then that will use up um, some of these scrap here and um, I can also modify some items, so if I want to scope something, or um, yeah, if I wanted to get like a scope on the sniper rifle, I would just need to do that and hit space or enter on that. Um, how you get some of those bits is uh, like the these things over here, the bit locker that I have, is that you need to basically either disassemble an item. So if I have some scrap here, I can disassemble that. Or if I were to disassemble this, I would get B, A, 2, and 3 parts uh, or bits from that item. And I mean, disassembling is an okay way to do it, but when you're in the early game, you kind of don't want to disassemble items. You want to use them usually. But the uh, what you can do a skill that I would highly recommend that any tinker gets is uh, scavenger. It lets you step over garbage and rifle for scrap in it, and you can also get more scrap from robots, which is a good source of scrap. I mean, you're early on, you're not going to be killing a lot of robots, so that's kind of not a big deal. But if I go over this trash here, you can see I'm rifling through it. Didn't find anything. Oh, I actually found the location of a Dromad Caravan because I have what skill? Trash Divining Customs and Lore. So I, I just discovered that that um, Dromad Caravan through the trash there. Really? Nothing? Okay, so I didn't find anything in that trash, but oftentimes you'll find like... I'm actually shocked that we didn't find anything there because you get... You get um, stuff from trash pretty consistently and you'll usually auto pick it up if there's no enemies nearby if not you can always pick it up manually and disassemble it and that is honestly how I get most of my scrap is disassembling trash you do find these things tend to not be in trash like the nano materials phototronics and and whatnot that tends to be you have to disassemble an item. If you go really deep down underground, I've sound, found some um, mono material, something or others that have nano materials. But usually those you actually have to disassemble an item for. for. So if I was trying to get one of those rare um, pieces of scrap, I would need to disassemble something like uh, Like a vibro blade would give you a part five, or like the grenades tend to be the more common scrap bits. But um, what's another one that can get you some high level stuff? Some tonics. Like I think I got my first source of five from a sphinx salt injector, which, to be honest, is a pretty good uh, thing. But I would much rather have like. Um, Gosh, what was it that we built with the five? There was something that you need five for, which was really nice for us to be able to build. I think it was the Vibroblade. Requires a five, yeah. And then, oh yeah, I modded. 
some armor, which needed a, a five. I could scope the laser rifle, but I don't really want to. Yeah, it was this uh, this fullerite that I um, used na nanomaterials to make it reinforce, so that was kind of cool. Don't worry about like the rhyme and reason, it's kind of weird as to what bits do what, but you can use bits for building things as well as repairing it if it gets damaged. Um, yeah, I'd say... Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to go over was... Early on, most of my tinkering is for grenades. Um, if you can get the freeze grenade, mark one, two, or three, get it. It is invaluable. It is so useful. Um, also, what you want to do is you want to be not using your A's unnecessarily, so I wouldn't make EMPs if I didn't need to, or even the high explosives, because uh, A bits are critical for recharging your energy, your uh, chem cells. So if I go to recharge, um, I can go ahead and like charge up my chem cell, and that's going to use up three A's. And even this late in the game, I only have like 40 A's. So you want to hold on to the A's really for recharging chem cells. Um, if you can get fidget cells, I like those, and I like solar cells because you don't have to use your A's. Those are kind of hard things to come by. Okay, there was one more thing that I wanted to go over, which should have been the first thing. So if you're in Joppa here, a good source of bits and um, whatnot is Argive. It actually gives you some quests as well. But you can see that you can get um, item mods, you can get chem cells, you can get all kinds of blueprints. They're very expensive. But besides reverse engineering, this is the only way you can get blueprints, really. And so if you don't have reverse engineering, you need to go to either Argive or the Barathumites. But they're pretty hard to get to until your character is decently strong. Um, so you would really want to go to him, get some data disks. And, oh, there's one other source of data disks. If you go to skills and you go to tinkering, when you get Tinkering 1, 2, and 3, you actually get a choice of a... Actually, I think it's just 2 and 3. Yeah, you get a choice of a free schematic, which is awesome. You can get really, really, really nice um, schematics for free. And if you have, uh, I think it's Precognition, you can Precognate and then level up and choose. And then if you don't like your choices, you can go back and keep on going until you get something really cool like... Uh, solar cells or like an Engen rifle or something like that. Really, really useful. Um, yeah, just something to keep in mind. Also, Argive, you probably noticed, sells a bits of scrap. If you have the ability to recharge your cells, you should buy these and then just use those to recharge your energy cell, because he can actually, if you talk to him, uh... You can actually also recharge for you items, but it costs a lot. So if I wanted him to recharge this, I would need 20 drams of water. Which would kind of make sense. If you can do it yourself, you probably could. You should. Okay, actually, no, 20, 20 drams of water will fully recharge these. And that means that um, it's a better deal to get them recharged at a merchant than to do it yourself. But it's good to have some of these when you're in a dungeon and you're deep down there and you can't get out and you want to get some uh, power back for your items. Alright, yeah, I think that's it at this point. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.